Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. So, this entire time I've been talking to Makoto. I've been unknowingly pushing my identity of mana without knowing it was hurting her. She said she doesn't blame people for doing that. What kind of relationship is that? You're just okay with me doubting you? I'm sure you have your own doubts about me. You're just okay with us doubting each other? Yes. What? Just... Are you okay with... with... with questioning each other the whole time? Joma? Yes. Hmm, I have a meme in my head. I need to write this down. I will, I will, I will come to say <laughs> My weak, ugly, and broken person. You're okay with that? Yes. You're going to end up getting hurt by being involved with me. You're okay with this? But yes. You're going to end up being burdened before my package. You're going to end up being a, being burdened like hell. You're okay with that? Yes. And you're willing to do all that despite knowing that you don't fully understand me? Yes. I'm unsure as to what to say to her. Would it be insensitive to ask about Mano right now? Yes. I guess I could ask some basic questions. What is your favorite food? Makoto. Makoto continues to walk, but I can visibly see her posture shift a little. A little. I guess she isn't used to me calling her by her given name. I yeah? So, uh, the voice you use as Mana. It's still you making the voice, right? It's just a bit hard to believe because it's so different. Makoto is visibly surprised for a moment before smiling. She clears her throat and adjusts her posture. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't I sound the same as I always? No, I said at least Makoto's mouth is distinctively, distinctly manas, down to the exact pitch and way of speaking. Just for clarification, I'm I'm talking normal. Unless I'm talking one of those voices. Damn well, it's definitely. You can definitely see what I, that is someone else. Only sometimes. Um. <clears throat> what? The voice isn't too loud. Likely as a precaution for being outside. But it's clear enough that I wouldn't even ever mistake it. Hmm. Huh? How do you do that? What do you mean? I'm the same old Mike at all. Okay, now I'm just weirded out. Don't be weirded out. Just think of this voice when you think of me. Why <laughs> are <laughs> for a second? If you watched that enough... Well... Ha! Ha ha ha! A lot of ha! All those three X's. Or this one one specific rule. It it is it's I don't know exactly which one it was. Was it was something between the thirty second and the thirty sixth rule? Something about the, in between those. Um, you probably can expect can probably think what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm sorry, yes, I'm and I'm that perverted. Sorry. But that's me. Ah Makoto <laughs> breaks out in laughter. My visible anguish. Okay, okay, I'll stop. I'm glad we're able to go back to choking around like this despite it. The events of the past two days. Mm-hmm. I can tell we're still both a bit shaken. But we're trying our best to move forward. Doesn't it get tiring after having to change your voice like that? Uh, I'm used to it, so not really. I mean, it's been a year. 
I see. Being able to change voice like that is really impressive. Huh? Is it? You might be able to do it yourself if you tried. Yeah, I don't think you want to hear my pitched up voice. Maybe you're right. Forget I said anything then. Max smiles and turns to continue walking. There are so many other things I want to ask and then and am wondering about. Maybe I can wait until after Makoto tells me everything tomorrow. Hey, Sh Shoma. Now it's my turn to feel uncomfortable. It's going to take a bit to get used to her calling me by my given name. <laughs> Fun fact, she has actually say, said your name at all. Like, the only time we know about your last name, Furukawa. Which, funny, funny enough that I can still remember his last name. Unless, unless I'm, I'm, I, I have completely forgotten it in this somewhere else. This was the only time we ever heard him ever actually ever see that name. Every time, uh, every time else, we only have well, Michael's last name. Anyway, <clears throat> I can say I'm not happy about it though. Y yeah, F thanks for today and for everything. I'm glad things turned out the way they did. Yeah, me too. Well, I guess I could have been a little less bumpy along the way. Yeah, that's for sure. I want to thank you too. I've been running away from my problems for a while now. But I think you've given me something worth all the hardships. Oh, I must be worth a lot to you then. We still have a lot more to go though. It's not too late to go back to the easier route. It's definitely an easier route, but I don't think I was ever content with how I was. Not because of VTubers themselves. I do get a certain fulfillment from watching them. They are provided the happiness and hope that I can't even begin to describe. Being able to share special experiences with them is something beautiful on its own. I was just using them to substitute for what I truly wanted. What I've formed with you, what I ended up forming with Mana, are two different things. I wouldn't want to give up either. Well, I have some good news for you. Turns out they're the same person, so you get a two for one deal. Dang, really? I must have hit the checkpot then. <laughs> uh, but if I'm being serious, I'm really glad to hear you say that. I don't think I would want to give up what I have with you as Makoto or Mana either. Okay, enough with this embarrassing lines. We're almost there. Hug, hug, hug. I arrive at the front of Makoto's house. She turns to me. Oh, I think I'm going to collapse as soon as I'm inside. I'm pretty sure I aged a few years today. So I'm here, I can't remember the last time I felt this tired. I kind of feel bad that I made you walk all the way here with me. No, don't feel that way. I was the one who wanted to do this. Don't worry, I have enough in me to make it back. Good night. Wait, do you want to stay over for the night? Oh, not for any weird reasons. Oh, just so you don't have to walk back so late. Huh? Can can you repeat that? I don't think I heard correctly. I, 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 I think my I think my tinnitus just just activated in both my ears. <laughs> No, I'm not saying it again. You heard what I said. No, I shouldn't. I'll just head back. No, really. It's fine. It's already sorry. You worried up at me. I'm completely fine with it. So just do what's best for you or what you want. Um, well, I, uh... Hmm? Well, of course I want to. But I probably shouldn't. Stop making it weird. Just make some more... It just makes more sense to stay here instead of making you walk all the way back when it's so late. And I have a futon you can sleep on in one of the other rooms. Nah, there are, there are plenty of rooms there, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. It makes the most logical sense. Indeed, you're very correct. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so weird. 
it sounds technically like, but I will just think of <laughs> in a situation like this. Yeah, um, yes, of course. Yeah, we go right. Definitely. Yes. This is to, to make total sense. Yes. Let's go with that. Thanks. Dang it. She looks unamused. Calm down, me. We'll be sleeping in separate rooms. It's not like that. For the court to be that, it might have been in the same room. <laughs> Roll back to stream number two, where it just basically implied that. <clears throat> Are your parents not home? I live here alone. My parents live somewhere else. Huh? That means you're here alone. So. No. So only their neighbors hear any kind of noise. I don't want to imply something here, by the way, just saying. Alright, stop, stop. <laughs> Stick down. Deep breaths. You can't really play me. I'm still head over heels for her. And she just invited me to stay overnight at her place. My heart feels like it's about to explode right now. Understandable. Maybe I should have just fused. <laughs> There's no way that is good for my heart. Actually, it is actually not very hard. It just feels weird. No, I would have beat myself away if I hadn't taken this opportunity. Maybe that would have been worse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you going to keep having your internal journal battle, battle or are you going to come in? Uh, sorry, I come in now. Lead the way. My car leads me to what seems to be a storage room containing only a sparse number of boxes. Yeah, it, it looks cozy though. Hmm. Also with two uh, with two windows, nice. Right here, I'll get the food on to roll out. Okay. Okay. My God, the room, leaving me to continue processing what's happening. Calm down, me. Nothing's going to happen. I'm just staying here in this room by myself for the night because it's laid out. Wait, will I even be able to go to sleep in this situation? Uh, probably not. Uh, I'll probably just collapse right away. I'm so tired. I don't think I'll, it'll take long for this adrenaline to run out. Magrory enters the room with a rolled up futon, blanket, and a pillow in her arms. A boink. She hands me the pillow and blanket and rolls out the futon across the floor. The bathroom's down the hall. Okay, I'm going to go and collapse onto the comfort of my bed. Good night. No, good night. Other glances at me instead of leaving. Don't tell me you were expecting anything to happen. Uh, of course not. Maybe you were the one who was expecting something. Regardless of it, I wanted something to happen. I'm pretty sure I'm too tired for anything. I need my steep. Brain thought of a joke. I will not say this joke though. Yeah, me too. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Don't like the bite. Pet box bite. <laughs> Makato walks out of the room and down the hall to her own room. Oh, okay. There, so there's technically there could be a room in between them. So it's good. I immediately collapse on the foot on and spread out my body. Two nights in a row of staying up this late can't be good for my well-being. It probably doesn't help that I'm in an unfamiliar place. I release a big sigh after taking a deep breath. It really has been an eventful two days, hasn't it? Thinking back on it, I did say some really embarrassing things. I recall the exact lines that I said at the beach. I immediately cover my face and start rolling around. Did you really say those things? Yes, you did. I mean, I'm kind of glad I did since it ended up with an owl, but it's so embarrassing. Well, it was good. I mean, how would Magato have been to Predator. Was I basically confessing my love to her? <laughs> As you said, <laughs> doing those things, yes. I mean, I do have feelings, but I need some more time to understand them. When I said those things today, I wasn't necessarily meaning it in, in a romantic way, but I did mention that I become obsessed with her. Isn't it just pretty much giving it away? Yes. Why do I sound also like Ben? It would be weird to ask what she thinks about me or what she considers me to be. Maybe I'm the weird one thinking too hard about those things. Ah. 
I can start to feel my thoughts trade off as my exhaustion starts to set in. Whatever, this will be a problem for our next morning's show off. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just, a, just a thing, a little everything. Close my eyes and slowly feel my conscious fade away. At least I'll die. Relationship connect. The light of a new day shines brightly through the windows and pulls me out of my slumber. I feel a sudden sense of panic as soon as I open my eyes in response to the sight of an unfamiliar room. It takes me a second to recall the events of the previous night. Oh yeah, I'm at Malakoto's place. It still feels like a dream, everything that's happened. But it does not feel the greatest, that's for sure. What time is it? I pull up my phone to see that it's already past noon. I guess we did get back pretty late. I wonder if Makoto's awake. I stretch out my arms before picking myself up and heading out of the room. I take a glance inside Makoto's room after noticing the door was open. Still, huggy wuggy! Also, no. Looking outside, it looks good. And, uh, yeah, I said. Hey, this is... Uh, wait, I just noticed the left one. This, that's Hanuko-kun. From the enemy, probably. Huh. It is a good enemy. I have to say, I watched it. It was really nice. I hoped for a second season, though. Um, I think. Is there even a second season? I don't know. Looks like she's already awake. She's probably downstairs. <laughs> I guess I'll wash up before heading out. Um, I'm greeted by the sight of Makoto sitting on one of the sofas, looking at her phone. This is, looks like a really nice living room, I also. Also. Yeah. Yeah, looking really nice. She looks up and she's noticed me walking closer. Oh, you're awake. I saw you crossing the park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, there, there needs to be a finally. Sorry, have you been up for a while? Nah, I've only been awake for about 30 minutes. On the dot? Not enough time for me to wash up and to on your face while you were asleep. How unfortunate. Maybe you should have set an alarm. Miss my sleep worth that amusement. I guess it's another one of my life's many difficult decisions. Sure it is. So, what's the plan for today? Were you going to tell me about everything when I wake up? Nope. Hmm. How about we go eat first? I also kind of want some time to mentally prepare as well. Oh, this we can go eat and then I'll head back to my place so I can have a chance to take a shower and change clothes. I can head back here. All right, sounds like a plan. Food connect. <laughs> I, 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 I slightly lost words to, to use for connect. Akato sits across from me. Her mouth full of pancakes. Mm. I wanted to just make a joke here, but no, I just know why to this jazz. Whoever made the music, this one is good. This one is good. Ooh. A little bit of sex. And Bala? Problem? I mean, again, jazz. If Barry Benson would ask me, would you like some jazz? I would say, yes. Jazz is nice. Again, I'm somebody who likes any kind of, well, music genre. But jazz? Jazz is always nice. But now we have a little vibe moment here.
Actually, it's not jazz, it's actually smooth jazz. I think. If I remember what smooth jazz is. And yeah. Doesn't matter if jazz or smooth jazz. Both are good. Um, anyway, wipe moment over. Cheat with the same nonchalant, non nonchalant vert as she had when I ate with her in the city. It's still as amusing to see as before. She looks at me after she swallows her current bite. You must have a lot of questions, don't you? Yeah, a ton. I met a ton. Okay, I, okay, I stop with the jokes. <laughs> Partially. But I figured a lot of them might be answered later today. And I think I, it would be good to bring it up in a public setting. I see. How thoughtful of you. That's true. We can probably wait until later tonight. Really did say some embarrassing things yesterday, didn't you? I will start choking on my food. <laughs> start cupping some water to slip my throat. You're going to hold that over my head, aren't you? Don't pretend like you didn't get caught up with the mood yourself. Oh yeah, that's the beautiful stairs, guy. The speech. Talking about one thing, me in your life. I'll start choking on my foot again. Okay, okay, I'll stop now. You might die from choking at this rate. Yes, please spare me. So much to talk about with Makoto. And there are so many things that we have to address. Wait, isn't that an assist stream in three days? Oh. Shouldn't I even bring that up? I'm sure Makoto knows, but still. Hey, is this really okay? Us being here and chatting? I feel like there are many, so many things we have to address. And the anniversary stream is coming up. Yeah, you know, I was feeling the exact same way, but for a different reason. The anniversary stream is in three days, isn't it? Use it. I too that there's a ton of stuff to be done for that, and that I'm still feeling a ton of anxiety about it. But, uh, but it'll work out, I think. If I can commit myself to that, I need to be able to get past this mental and emotional wall behind for me. I can move forward with you without telling you what I need to tell you. And moments like these aren't bad. They may be fleeting. But it really lets me take a moment to appreciate things. Yeah, you're right. That's the magic of smooth jazz. <laughs> Sorry. I guess we don't have, we don't always have to be trying to tackle some problem. You said you were feeling the same way for a different reason, right? What's the reason? Moments of fleeting happiness like these make me question if it's really okay to feel this way. <clears throat> As for the reason, let's save it for tonight. I have a feeling I know where she's getting at. I don't want to push it. She's right. We can wait until tonight. Enjoy the current moment of peace. Alright. Oh yeah, I do remember you mentioning that you wish for people to achieve true happiness. In one of your um, talks. Oh yeah, I did mention that in my stream a few days ago, didn't I? What exactly did you mean by true happiness? Well, it's not really something that's clearly defined. Just that when uh, some people define happiness, they think of it as a state where there's a lack of sadness or pain. Or they think of it as merely being satisfied with a neutral state. I guess it all depends on the person. But I want to truly say that I'm a happy person. I can smile and laugh without forcing it and not have to worry about everything else. I see. Would you consider this moment to be true happiness? You mentioned that this was a moment of happiness. That's the thing. It's only ephemeral. Game, you want to throw me more, more words that I could that I don't even understand or can't even pronounce? Because you are doing a good job here. I would consider myself a happy person, though. It's all really wake, isn't it? 
Obviously, I can't expect to always be happy. And maybe that true happiness is built on moments like these. But even right now, I feel like I'm just running away from sadness and pain. So, would you consider it to be a state where there's a lack of sadness and pain? Well, I know it's possible to be completely free of those things. Maybe it's a state where there isn't that much of it. Or maybe it's a state where I'm able to consider myself a happy person in spite of these of those things. Is that too idealistic? Not at all. Isn't that a state that a lot of people are in? Well, I don't know if you can ever tell for sure. They might just be shown their happiness outwardly while they internalize their pain. That's true. So people inevitably go through both moments of happiness and pain. We are talking about a state where people can focus on happiness and not feel like they're running from the pain or sadness. Yeah, I think that's right. It would be nice if everybody could achieve that. You did wish that for all your viewers. I'm sure that you were able to reach people with that. I for sure appreciate it. It when it, I heard it. Thanks. But it goes both ways, doesn't it? I'm sure everybody else wishes that for you as well. You're always looking out for us. And you might know this already, but I want you to know that we wish the best for you as well. Aww. Thanks. I mean it. I don't think I'm deserving of that, but it makes me happy hearing it. Come on, nobody thinks you're undeserving of that. Are you finished with your food? Oh, I am. Do you want to pay and get going? Yeah, let's go. After we paid for the food, we agreed to meet at her place in around two hours. Saying bye to Makoto, I headed home to take a shower and change clothes. Change Connect.